Now I have this picture here of myself which I'm going to show you how you can edit it using Photoshop using a destructive way. So I'll just come here under this icon here and just click it and there we are. Now it gives you many options of how you can edit a picture. For example if you come here brightness and contrast it gives you a way of maybe if you want to increase the brightness you can easily pull the slider uh, on this direction or you can also pull it if you want to uh, minimize the contrast also the same you can easily add the contrast or you can also uh, remove you can also adjust the brightness if i come back to my layers here you can see uh, we have a layer here of the adjustments i can easily go back if i want maybe i can just double click here it will take me back if i want to adjust again now compared to this compared to the images here uh, for example if i go back if i compare to this one here brightness here this one is now a destructive way of editing whereby you cannot easily go back you have to undo many times to go back now i'll just undo this one i'll undo that i'll come back again here maybe i want now to use levels i just click levels here now it will give me this uh, something like a graph here now the most important thing here are this aspect here if i if i increase this side you see the whole of uh, this aspect will increase now the goodness about level you can increase some parts where some parts can be darker and some parts can be brighter as you can see if i pull this one here you see right here is becoming darker and here is becoming brighter it gives you that feel of whereby some lights were brighter and some parts were if i pull like so it will just adjust like the, the way they feel like until the way you feel for example also i can uh, work with this one here I can easily pull this one like so I can also pull this one like so but now this one affects the whole picture uh, compared to this this one only affects some sections of the picture as you can see right there now I'll just come back to my layer here I have the mask here I can easily go back and edit it I'll just double click here and it will just take me back if I want to adjust again I'll just yeah, just like so so that's how to use uh, the levels now I'll just I'll just delete it if I want to remove it I'll just either close this eye so that it's not visible or I'll just leave it and also delete it I'll just click here the delete bin just go I'll come here again and choose maybe curves curves also work almost the same levels as the one that we've just seen previously uh, if I you, it, it will, it will, you see like this dark parts here you can easily increase the brightness of some part but now this one you can click and add points whereby you can easily adjust some parts as you can see in the screen here for example you see these parts here uh, you can also do like this you can also play around you see you can make some parts more brighter and some parts more darker as you can see it's a matter of experimenting, it's a matter of uh, playing around with all these aspects. I'll come back to my layers again. If I want to go back, so that I see it's not it's non destructive, I can easily go back by just double clicking here and it will take me back. Now I'll just come again, I'll delete it so that I can show the other option. I'll, yes, delete. I'll come again here and maybe now this time I choose uh, maybe exposure. Now exposure just from the world of photography, I understand it that you, can, you want to increase the brightness or you want to reduce the brightness. For example, if I pull my slider here, it will increase the brightness to a maximum. So there's also this offset thing which plays around with some uh, darkness and some parts of the photographs or not. I also play around with this, but it, especially this works especially if you take a picture in a very dark room or do that i come back to my layers i just if i want to go back still the same i just delete all of it i come to this pin here and delete so it's a matter of experimenting and see what works best for you now i'll just come again here this time i want to use vibrance vibrance is more sometimes you'll find yourself using combination of all this uh, i want to make your picture more vibrant vibrance whereby maybe add more color saturation maybe add more color as you can see uh, there 
so i'll just come back and maybe uh, leave it at that so i'll delete this i'll also show you the other one maybe i'll come here who and saturation who and saturation is more about colors if i pull this slider here if you want to it's more of color correction just like in video editing with that color correction you don't want my picture to be bluish I just pull here and saturation like so or maybe i want to some my t-shirt some parts of my t-shirt to be blue or black I can just pull also this one here I can just pull here I realized this one saturation here is more of a reddish this one is more darkish if I add brightness you see that uh, now this one is more of the colors I can easily play with that uh, like so again uh, I'll come back to my layers if I want to go back I'll just double click here and I can easily still edit just like that so I'll come again and delete this so that I can show you the next option I'll delete this one again so that it goes all over I'll come here again maybe this time I want to use color balance maybe you want to balance the colors in your, in your picture like so uh, like this magnet, magneto, kion or maybe it just almost works like uh, the one you're just looking for uh, the hue saturation now you can also play around with all that this is not destructive i'll come here the kit i can easily uh, adjust it like so if i don't want to just come here and delete and all of it will go i want to go back to my layers again i'll show you maybe you want to change your picture uh, to black and white so and also adjust it how blackish and how reddish how brightness it should be so there are some ways you can play around with the colors uh, change it back and white and also you can edit your pictures in photoshop just like that now yeah those are some of the ways you can edit your picture now watch my next video